Hello and welcome everybody, Death's Crowbar here with you today. And today we have the last part of this series on how to for Twitch and OBS. So, the first video covered how to set up OBS and Twitch together. Second one covered how to set up a donation tracker. Third one set up how to set up your subscriber slash follower alerts. And this one will be important for most of you, how to set up Nightbot. Now I'll leave annotations in the corners for the other videos. And I'll even leave one for how to set up your hitbox in the remaining corner. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to, oops, sorry, go to nightdev.com. From nightdev.com, you are going to click on projects and then nightbot. All right. Then you're going to hit get started or register. This one's already registered, but all you do is you click get started. It'll ask you to ver to uh, basically verify your twitch.tv account. You verify it. You accept allowing it to use your stuff on your twitch.tv account and you make a password then you log in just like I'm doing right here and you use the password you made not your twitch.tv password alright from here you're going to want to hit join on Moobot or Nightbot, sorry, Nightbot. This one's Nightbot. You, then you want to go over to your channel. So we're going to go to twitch.tv slash deathscrowbar how to's and we're just going to go to the dashboard because we can do it from there. All right, so once chat is done loading, we will get that done. Once chat is done loading. <laughs> All right, chat's done loading. So what you want to do is you now want to hit slash mod space nightbot. You want to hit chat. You want to make sure that enters by hitting chat or hitting the enter button. Now I've added Nightbot as a moderator. It can do stuff now. Alright, so we're going to refresh this. It can take a minute for it to recognize it is a moderator. Alright. So from here, you're going to want to look at different things to do probably with your Nightbot. You can set up link protection. This will keep people from adding in certain links and you can whitelist links which is a nice thing to do the whitelisting of links allows you to put links like your social media in such a way where they can be posted from there you can do caps protection and spam protection here's your spam blacklist you can set now with all of these I want you to know you can set up a timeout message so, for example, you can put so-and-so blank, you cannot use links. Now, there is a way to have it programmed to where it actually uses the username of the person who did the link. You can do spam. Exact same way, you just set it all up, add your phrase, and that's it. Caps protection, you can set that up minimum number of caps that can be in a post and whatnot. You can also turn all of these off if you want. Symbol protection it has a minimum number number of symbols someone can do and stuff which is eight. You can set it higher than that if you want and, or you can just turn it off. You can have emote protection which gives you a minimum number of emotes which can be added to something. Or you can turn it off or whatever. Repetition protection. I recommend you have this one on. 
then paragraph protection. You can, if you want to, you don't have to. Uh, some people write in long paragraphs, and it can kind of get annoying. But uh, if you're okay with it, you know, just turn it off. All right, from there you want to probably add some custom commands to your Nightbot. So how commands work is you give the you make the command for the Nightbot, then in chat you give the command and Nightbot will do whatever it's commanded to do. All right, so I recommend you you begin all commands with the exclamatory point of punctuation, your exclamation point. From there, you are going to type in a name for it. So say it's rules. Alright, you can choose who can access this. I recommend if it's something like rules that everyone can access it. And uh, from there, you can say whatever the rules are. Type them in. And you hit add new command. So now when someone types in exclamation point rules, they will see the response here from Nightbot. You can also add timers. Timers will give certain information. All right, so you add a timer. It works similar to the rules. You give the timer a name. And uh, this isn't quite as important for anything. So, you know, if you want it to, say, play your social media, social, add in your social media links and have it run it as you see fit. Now, it has a minimum amount of stuff that has to pass before it will run things. And it's got to be at least... 10 minutes since the last one, and 25 lines have passed. You can set it to be higher than that if you want. You can also use this to make it run a commercial instead of do a message. See? 30 second commercial, 1 minute, 3 minutes, 2 minutes, 2.30. Silent commercials, same thing. So that's how you do that. Very nice for people who want to, you know, have commercial every hour or so. Alright, so you can set up your regulars. Who is on your regular list? Your channel regulars. You can set up stuff for your subscribers. If you have subscribers, you can set up special things for them. There is a way to do song requests with Auto DJ, and this actually teaches you how to do all of that here. And Here's your commands for managing the song request and adding a personal playlist. You can do so here. All right, you can also do giveaways. This makes it easy to do giveaways very, very simply. So you can do a random number, random user, or you can do a question and answer giveaway. If you do a question and answer giveaway, you put the question in here and the answer there, and once someone answers it, it will be done. Alright, so those are the basics of Nightbot, guys. That's pretty much all you need to know about it. If you have any comments, questions, or any other thing you want to say, put them in the comments section below, or contact me on my social media. Now, if you really want really like this, please follow me. If you, for some reason, really like my show and my videos, you can donate from my Twitch page. If you want to get me something, uh, I've got an Amazon wish list in the com in the uh, description below. You can go there. It all is stuff to help improve the show or to show off on the show, which, in fact, it's probably going to improve it anyway, so... All right, guys, thank you so much. Please don't forget to like, comment, favorite, share, and subscribe. And as always, to all you nerds out there, to all you gamers, and to all you geeks, keep doing what you do. This is Death's Crowbar, signing out.